Today is a pretty incredible day because we're finally getting our first chance to see what the new map of Australia is going to look like. And we're also finding out some pretty cool information as well about the new rifle, about the new crocodile animations, and what they're going to be doing after you take a shot if it goes down into the water. We're going to find out all kinds of things in this video. Let's fly, shall we? We're going to take a bit of an overlook here. And we're going to take a nice high level view of Australia and what you can expect. Now, remember, I am in a dev build. I have dev controls. You may not fly at home. I am not a trade professional. I've had a crash course, no pun intended. Uh, but this is designed to give you an idea on what you can expect. Now, obviously, in this starting area, you can see the wide open expanse is dotted with trees that, uh, uh, honestly, it makes for such an incredible hunt. Uh, it, it really, it's, it's kind of unique for anything we have just yet. Um, take your time when you get in here, my friends. There are lots of spots on this map that you would not expect to be what I like to deem hot spots. It is not all about the drink zone times. You're gonna feel that. You can absolutely, with certain species, utilize those drink zones. But as you can see, there is large areas without water, and I'll tell you, the hunting's good. On, on my map, on my playthrough, this area is just one big, big purple pink blotch right now uh, and you'll understand I had a very hard time moving out of these areas but you can see as you move around the reserve the the climates change the biomes move things adjust and it it's kind of seamlessly done you you don't realize it at the time and I'm just sharing my experiences you, you don't realize as you're moving through that oh my goodness I am in a completely different biome from where I just was and this continues through the reserve. Um, and you'll explore this, you'll figure this out. We're not gonna go into too much detail. I'm not gonna go and look at all the different outposts. That's for you to explore. I will give you a little teaser before the end of the stream if you remind me. There is one that is extremely special. We're gonna finish on our fly through here. We're gonna talk about a little bit more and then we're gonna spend a little bit of time uh, doing a little bit of a hunt. Bad. I can't do this justice. I just can't. You know, um, man, some of these areas, I think you are starting to get the feeling for what you can expect on your first days out at Emerald Coast. I'm like a plane right now, man. You got to see the salties so excited. The salties are pretty amazing. Now, the salties, um, the saltwater crocs, they have undergone some serious, serious love. Look at the fallows. They, uh, they have changes in their behavior, changes in their AI, changes in their mechanics. Um, it's very, very cool. We're going to try and get you guys a little bit of a peek on some of these. The new rework and the remasters on the fur variations for the fallow, give them a very unique look. Uh, it's it's really just, it's quite something else. But uh, these, these bad boys certainly got a whole lot crazier. Oh yes, oh yes. Look at it, right? Now there are a bunch of new things that are happening with the crocodile. We're gonna talk a little bit about that before we go and actually try and hunt these incredible beasts. <laughs> I don't know what else to say about them. Um, saltwater crocodiles are bigger than what you're going to find over on Mississippi. Uh, they're also more aggressive than what we've seen in the past. The rework they've seen done has upped their aggression, but you'll also find them on land a fair bit more. Now, this will make the hunt a little bit more um, attainable. I, I don't want to say easier, but it, it, it is different. Uh, now, of course, you can still hunt them while they're in the water and you still get that crazy glow that happens off their eyes at night. But no longer are you going to have the struggles that we first had when when this species was introduced to the game. Um, 
where they instantly became an indestructible sub that went underwater and they were gone. You will actually find uh, if you shoot one that's in the water, they will float to the surface. Uh, They will often move to shore using our floating mechanic. Uh, You're going to find it a lot more enjoyable. There has been a lot of attention that's gone into them um, as honestly, they need it coming to Australia and being such a prize. Uh, they just, they make me a little bit nervous. <laughs> they really do. And if you've ever hunted them, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. They are all over the place here. Uh, in fact, you can see we've even got, and now this is where some interactions come into play at different times of day. I don't want to give away areas too much. I am giving you where you can find a lot of the salties. But, uh, yeah, man. Floaty boys, that's right. I know nervous is a thing, man. It really is. Um, I can't wait to see what the community does with this. I can't wait to see what our creators do with this. Uh, I wanted to go to one more spot, and you know everything tells a tale here. But we're not going to tell that tale today. We're just going to fly on by. To the last biome I wanted to fly through. Fly on by the Tampa coast, arguably, uh, it's electric here. Did I hear a magpie? Would we be graced enough? Oh my goodness. Hello, you fine, fine creatures, you. Oh, they look good. And they do in fact have a collar, uh, that you guys will be able to make use of. You, You gotta have to be very tactful on where you set up on this map. Uh, where you don't want to grind them because you can well imagine the bigger animals don't play well with the smaller animals. That was well timed, wasn't it? Was it a toy perk? I know, man. Oh my goodness, man. Oh, jeez. It really, really is. I'm going to try and set down and not anger anything right off the bat. As I mentioned, I did bring the power pack with me. I do not dare use the 22250 on these guys. Uh, I mean, you could. I really wouldn't recommend it, but you know how she goes. I've got the starter binos with me. I did not hook up onto uh, the bigger boys. Look at that. Look, at they even look beefier, do they not? That is something else. Now, why did I not bring... Listen. We're not doing this right off the bat, man. <laughs> We're really not. He's alarmed. Let's see what he does here. Let's see what he does. Yeah. You're going to notice quite a few differences with the Crocs. Um, oh, are you, are you, uh, are we, is this happening? I feel, I feel as if I'm in a bad spot. I've got the 338 happening right now. I don't have any of my skills or any of my perks. I don't even have zeroing on here. Oh, yeah. Yeah, this is going down. <laughs> oh, no, he's fleeing. Well, what a good time. Oh, no, no, he's submerging. Dive, dive. Curious, curious to see. Now, we've caught him. We actually, we did have him in our highlight. We know he's underneath there. Be interested to see what he does. But we have a level five over here that uh, we, can, we can have a little bit of love with. So we can see that our zero weed is at 133 to 147 meters. We're going to go ahead and use that, knowing that uh, by default, we're looking at about 150 meters. And we're going to try the 338 just in a lung and see what happens. And I had a terrible shot. We'll give it a second. Did I make something mad? They are tough. Now, uh, I do have the 338 in my... Oh, no, I have the 7 mil. I grabbed the 7 mil. The 338 is in my slot 5, which is what I should have done. A little more bang for your buck. Uh, but because I don't want to play around with these bad boys. 7mm will do it. Uh, I'm actually a big fan of using, I'm a very big fan of the smoke pole, going for the brain shots. You will still get your trophy. They were a lot of fun. Um, But uh, yeah, he did go down. Let's see what happens. Can I get around here? I haven't traversed this too much. I have flown through a fair bit of this. I probably did just make it upset. Yeah, oh, bow hunting on these is absolutely next level. Quite fun with the crossbow, too, I must say. Yeah, definitely fun to go through there. I'd love to see the community challenge themselves. Um, I absolutely love the feeling of this area, which is one of the reasons I wanted to do a hunt here today, uh, because you saw a little bit of time in what what I'm referring to as the starter area and what it entailed. Um, It's so drastically different here. A little nervous. 
<laughs> We've upset the uh, the local reptile wildlife. Oh, I cannot reveal anything more about the ruse until we have our our video out, uh, which is coming up this week. Won't have to wait long. In the untamed species, make sure that you are following uh, that you subscribed on our YouTube channel. That's where it will be showing up for all of your viewing enjoyment. Uh, but of course, with that. Um, show the creator some love, you know, it's exciting for them to be able to get involved like this in a, a first look um, Really you guys Really? There's one right there No organs hit. So this is actually I totally did this on purpose um, This is actually a great opportunity. Let me go into my gameplay my uh, interface. I want to change my colors um, my track effects, I want my active track. Just something a little easier to see. Here he is right here. Now, gone are the times where this would have hit that water on a bad shot and disappeared. Will you guys stop it, man? That second one, we got lung butter on the second one, so you weren't getting much farther. But, uh, pretty cool nonetheless. Pretty cool. They look different. They just have that, like getting this in the sunlight. Maybe we can get one in the light a little bit better. But let's go ahead and take a look at the saltwater crocodile and all the information coming with it. Uh, we can't avoid it. As you can see, they pay very, very well. That first one didn't even hit. I'm gonna actually just go through and put my zero weed on, I think. I was, oh, you know, nonetheless, dark brown, looking pretty damn spiffy if I do say so. They are a force on this map. They are absolutely a force. Uh, they're a great money maker too. I, I'm not gonna lie. I feel like, you know, we have a lot of metas, what we would call a, the, the money making metas and XP metas in the game. Um, I feel like with this new map and what it offers uh, with the combination of like the power pack, our most recent, uh, equipment DLC uh, you, you could make some serious bank uh, just running these river complexes uh, but I don't want to go too far into it I'm not going to go and show you some of there's a lot of story on this map uh, that really really yeah, everyone's going to want to explore if, if you're not big into the storylines uh, maybe you know even myself I typically I've done all, almost all the stories now within our game but I've I've never really gravitated to that in games. I'm more a get max level, give me all my stuff, all my things. Um, you may want to explore this one, much like uh, Verhonga was in the day. There's been some love that's been put into it. It's exciting, it's exciting. Time to stop gator grind, time to start grinding crocs. Bertle, I feel you, I feel you. Yes. Um, man, I can't do this justice. No matter what I do here today, I cannot do it justice. We're gonna spend a little bit more time here on the Crocs. And then we're gonna go see about, uh, oh my goodness. Whoa, for the love of Pete. No, 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 I gotta run. Oh, we got, oh, I got lucky. I got lucky, <laughs> I don't even know. Man alive, if this is something juicy, line it up like that. You can see how fast this happens. He lined me up, he was calling from over here. I need more coffee. <laughs> I legitimately need more coffee. Well done, devs. Well done. This is the experience that absolutely hooked me on Verhunga when the lions first came out. That feeling of being the prey. It doesn't matter how many boomsticks you have in your arsenal. Man, these things can sneak right up on you. That was wild. I'm I'm actually really glad that that happened. <laughs> this is not paid actors, let me tell you. What were you? You were a seven and all of fantastic. We get a nice look at this. That's great. Check him out. Check him out. Look at the way the lighting moves through. Wow. Sometimes it just hits, my friends. Sometimes you just feel it in the game. And this, this map, I almost said reserve, this map 
is firing on all cylinders for me. I cannot wait to see what the community thinks. Um, I'm, I'm just going to go all in and say it is going to become a fan favorite. No two ways about it. Absolutely. All right. We're going to take a look here at the first sandbar that we will spawn in. And, oh, I didn't. <laughs> hold on. Hold on. Where do I, where do I do that again? Um, come. Okay. Come back to me. There we go. <laughs> there we go. Um, I also want to freeze. One more. Pow. Absolutely beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Here we go, my friends. Here we go. <laughs> oh, Gage, I would love to. I would love to. I hated missing last week's stream. Uh, it's always so exciting getting to hang out with you guys to begin with, but with everything going on. Uh, but it was a bank holiday, and uh, as such, the, it, the decision was made to take take the streams off there. But fear not, you don't have to wait long. We have a creator early access this weekend. Uh, a bunch of your favorite creators are going to be out there. I was going away. I'm going to stay home and do it myself as well. I can't miss out on this. It's way too much fun. This is arguably the biggest thing to ever come to our game, uh, and it needs the love and attention, in my opinion. Absolutely great. Let's see if we can get a few different uh, varieties happen here. I, I don't... Now, so here's the thing. I don't actually know what their fur variations are at this stage of the game. What do we have in the background? What was just walking in? Oh, that's great. That was that there's there's a level four. There's a level four. He's getting a little bit bigger on us. Um, arguably one of my new favorite piebalds here in the Hunter Call of the Wild, and I think you can see why. Is that not something else? Isn't that crazy? Um You know, being that this is one of the newest designed animals to come to the game. You can really, really see how far we have come from when the game was first released. Look at the muscle texture, the, the, the natural creases in the line. It's almost like you've got a crosshair right there. Um, the, uh, the, the way the fur hangs down, you're absolutely gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Yeah, I know. The Moose Piebald's still my favorite. Absolutely. You know what? Carly boy, I, I, it's my, it's, Moose is my favorite period of the game. I can't help it. But uh, with the new additions here, it's, it's hard not to fall in love with some of this, right? Um, okay, we can take a look at the albino. Always gorgeous. Always absolutely stunning when you come across any albino in the open world. Uh, if you're like me, you typically fall back, your jaw drops open, you can't believe it. It doesn't matter the level. It doesn't matter if it's a male or female. Uh, it is just something truly special to find. And uh, pretty crazy. It does look a little like Rudolph, doesn't it? Uh, looks like Albino Sitka. Very similar, I guess, right? Very similar. Similar. Sim similar. Similar. Yeah. Pretty cool. Nice lineup for the sandbar. Very, very happy with this addition to the game. Uh, one of the things I'm truly excited about here to, to land with Emerald Coast, I, I'm, I'm so pleased to have the sandbar and the Rusa. Uh, it's, uh, it's something very, very cool to behold. Let me introduce to you our first time together, these beautiful beasts of burden. They look cuddly, but they are not. Not by any stretch. Um... Man, the Bantang. These fast became a favorite for me here. The dark brown. Um, you often don't get a very good look before these these gorgeous things make it on top of you, man. Um, hold on. Let me uh, let me go into interface. Um, da -da 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 the ghosts of EC. <laughs> these are the things of nightmares right here. <laughs> if, if you see one of these buried down on you, you are going to have to move, move out the way. Uh, 
I have resisted all urges to do this until we were all live together when we could do this together to go through and explore these animals, um, to explore, to, to, to show you, I think you can see the love that is going into this, this map. Um, absolute beautiful lineup. I'm not going to bring in a rare on these species. These are the commons that you can look for in an on comment. Uh, and uh, you guys can find out what else they come in. Are they piebald, melanistic, leucistic? Are they are cosmic? <laughs> I want to see it. It's a challenge to the community. Once release pushes out there, let's get the hog deers rolling and see what we find with them. Uh, for me, this was such a pleasure to explore what this species was all about. Um, and you know, I in my mind, I thought of them as these tiny little roe deer like things. They are certainly not. They're a good size. Um, let's go ahead, actually, and just take a look at one a little closer. And uh, see exactly what they're about. Now, I, it's too big. Oh, you know what I should have done? Hold on. Hold on. With the 22-250, I'm smart. We got lung butter off it. Giving you a real-time look. Oh, I love the animations. Oh, wow, did you see I was... That's new. Did you guys catch the mouth animation there? So that would have ran about 100 meters or so. Um, fun little thing. Let's take a look. There we go. So level three, dark brown. Get a real nice look at that fur. Big... Oh, it's so pretty. It's so pretty. Right? My goodness. We did not... We did not spawn a red deer, no. No, I got totally... Well, because I actually wanted to show the hog deer, and, and as I went through the list and I read them, I realized I had not done so. Very, very cool. Very cool. Not too shabby. Not too bad at all. Um, yeah. Almost a double lung, too. Straight on by the crease. At thin point, would have caught a double lung on that. Not bad. We are on the 22-250. The new rifle coming to the game. Giving a look at the sights. Not bad, not bad. Got for view here. Yeah, not bad, helps you pinpoint. Little, little, little thick. Whoops. Let's go ahead and give it a shot. That's deeper than expected. has a very nice sound to it. Very nice indeed. What can you do on a sandbar? Okay. Viable on a sandbar? Not that we want to use that on a sandbar. Um, I would say you want to use this on a, on a much smaller. I can't imagine that it's um, something viable. But due to the fact that it did drop it, the dusky gradient. Isn't that cool? Uh, there has been a redesign on our screen. I know there was some concern at first. It, it is a little bigger than it was originally. It's just, a, it's meant to make it a little bit neater. Um, there was also, you know, trophy shots in mind. People wanting to take screenshots of this to see, you know, how best it kind of fit in. Um, so, yeah, yeah, we've seen it evolve. Let me know what you guys think uh, in the discords and uh, maybe let's get a thread going. See what you guys think about the new Harvest screen. Not too shabby, but it, it did work. It, it worked. It actually did pretty good. So on the smaller animals that fit within that two to four range, I think it's going to be um, a nice little addition. You know, you, you can't expect the world from a rifle that's set for a two to four. You're not going to go and hunt these guys with it. Not by any stretch of the beads. Bad. All right, guys, that's going to be it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you next time.